Hello everyone and welcome to Vinyasa Yoga. My name is Erica and I'm with UMBC Recreation. In Vinyasa Yoga, you can expect a lot of conscious breathing. So we work to tie our breath in with the poses. And you'll notice as we start to get into our flow, there's a repetitiveness in those poses as well. Before we start, I wanna remind everyone to listen to their body. We're gonna work a lot with heart openers, so opening the chest, maybe challenging our balance a little bit, and I'll throw out some options to make poses maybe a little easier or a little more difficult. So always listen to your body. You don't have to make a pose more difficult if that just doesn't feel right to you. Um, so please keep that in mind always and make sure that you always check with the physician before you start a new exercise regimen. Today, to start, we're gonna stand up. So standing at the top of your mat, feet hips width distance apart, ground your feet onto the floor, stand up nice and tall out through the crown of your head, and relax your shoulders down your back. Take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Take your hands behind your back and interlacing the fingers. Wrap the shoulders behind the heart. If you want to increase the stretch, press the palms firmly together. And let's be careful not to tilt our tailbone up to the ceilings here. Send your tailbone along to the floor, draw your belly into your spine, and find the openness through the chest and the heart area. Gaze slightly up towards the ceiling. Breathe into the chest. Then release the hands and fall into forward fold. Bend the knees. Drop your belly to your thighs. Let your arms and your head hang heavy. In forward fold, we send the weight towards the balls of the feet. Keep the hips lifting high to the ceiling. Low belly drawing in. And to protect your low back, you want a nice closeness between belly and thigh. So if your belly's far away, bend those knees and bring the belly and the chest down. One vertebrae at a time will rise to a standing position. Leave your chin tucked to your chest until you make it all the way back to standing. Again, take hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Elbows slightly bent or palms pressing together, your choice. Lift through the heart and breathe into the chest. Release your grip and find forward fold, belly drops to the thighs, arms and head hang heavy. And one vertebrae at a time will rise back to standing. Last time, hands behind the back, lift the chest. This time, keep the hands where they're at and we'll fall to forward folds from here. Belly comes to the thighs and fists reach up towards the ceiling. Watch the belly closeness to the thighs. Then release your hands down towards the floor. Rise to half lift, flattening the back, hands to shins, gaze is down to the floor. Then step back into plank, bending the knees, planting the hands, and stepping into a traditional plank position. Palms flat to the mat. Then lower the knees down to the floor, tops of feet to mat as well. Lift up to the fingertips and round the spine into cat pose, tucking chin to chest, drawing belly in. Then release and arch into cow, letting belly hang to the floor as we tilt the spine up to ceiling. Rounding the spine back to cat. Lifting and arching to cow. One more time, round the spine. 
lift and arch. And settle into neutral tabletop with palms flat to mat. Lift your left arm up to ceiling, reach through the fingertips and thread the needle. So pass this hand through the right side between hand and knee. Drop down to left shoulder and find a relaxed position with the right arm, however feels comfortable. Opening the back side of the body, adding a twist to the belly. And plant your right hand to the mat so you can press yourself back to tabletop. Deep breath in through the nose, lift right arm up to ceiling, exhale out the mouth to thread the needle. Right shoulder comes down. Slowly press yourself back to tabletop and lift up to the fingertips. Extend your right leg behind you, keeping heel in line with hip, pointing through toes, glute active, belly active, lift out of the shoulders. Give me a crunch, drawing right knee towards the chest, rounding the spine, drawing the belly in, lifting the knee as high as you can to step the foot into lunge. Ankle right below the knee. If you can't do that without using the hands, grab that foot and put it into placement. Draw the breath in through your nose to lift the arms up for a count of one, two, three, four. Exhale out the mouth, hands come down, two, three, four. Nice and slow. Breath in for a count of four. Arms are coming up. And down for a count of one, two, three, Four. Last time, breath in and breath out. Hands to mat. Bring your right hand to the inside of the foot and heel toe, the right foot out to the outer edge of the mat. Just opening the hip a bit here. Keep the spine nice and long. Gaze as gently down towards the mat. Maybe you find a little bit of movement, making some circles with the hips. Then heel to the foot back to center, hand comes back to the outside. Extend the right leg long behind you, point through the toes to keep leg active, then return to tabletop. Left leg extends, point through the toes. Give me a crunch round the spine, lift that knee nice and high, draw the belly in and step the foot or place the foot into lunge. Draw the breath in through nose, arms up for one, two, three, four, breath out, two, three, four. Again, two, three, four and out, two, three, four. Last time, deep breath, nice and slow. And out. Left foot opens up to the outer edge of the mat, hand comes to the inside, back to our hip opener. Keep the spine long. If you found some movement on the opposite side, do the same here, making some little circles with the hips. Foot comes back to center, hands on the outside. Extend the left leg long behind you, point through the toes and return to tabletop. We'll settle into child's pose, hips to heels, toes touch, but knees are separate. Arms extend down the length of the mat and forehead to mat. We'll finish our warm up here with some nice deep breaths.
focus on the movement of the body as you fill the body with breath and as the breath leaves. This pose, child's pose, will be our resting pose throughout the class today. If you're uncomfortable in this pose for any reason, your other option is puppy. Eyes back to tabletop. Drop elbows to mat, palms face down. And head relaxes. Whichever feels most comfortable to you. Take one last deep breath here in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Slowly make your way back to a tabletop position. Lift up to the fingertips. Extend left leg behind you. Point through those toes. Give me a crunch. Knee to chest around the spine. Step the foot into lunge. Right toes tuck onto the mat. And then lift that knee into the air, into lunge. Lifting up to just the pointer in the middle finger. Sending the chest forward, looking forward, left knee stacked over the ankle. Step up to half lift, right foot steps up to meet the left, flattening the back, hands to shins. Lower to fold, belly meets the thighs, head hangs heavy. And one vertebrae at a time will rise to standing. We're gonna move right into our modified sun salutation. Start by lifting the arms overhead and gazing up to the ceiling. Lower to folds, belly to thighs. Rise half lift, flat in the back. Step back into a plank position and drop the knees to tabletop. Lean forward so the shoulders come out past the wrist. Then bend the elbows to a 90 degree angle, keeping them close to the body before lowering the rest of the body and hips down to mat. Elbows are pointed up towards the ceiling. We lift the chest to baby cobra using the strength of our core and our back, so no pressure in the hands here. Now press into the hands for child's pose, hips to heels. Take a breath or two here. The first part of the class, these rests are gonna get shorter each time we come through. Take advantage. Slowly rise back to tabletop and lift up to the fingertips. Extend your right leg, point through the toes, give me a crunch, knee to chest, and step the foot into lunge. Left toes tuck onto the mat and knee lifts into the air, lift up to the pointer in the middle finger. Step up to half lift, flattening the back. Lower to fold, belly to thighs, and slowly rise to standing one vertebrae at a time. Two more times through, lift those arms overhead, gaze up to ceiling. Lower to fold, belly to thighs. Rise half lift, flattening the back. Step into plank and drop the knees to tabletop. Lean forward for Chaturanga, bend the elbows 90 degrees, close to body and lower flat to mat. Lift the chest, baby cobra, don't press into the hands. Then press to child's hips to heels. A little bit shorter of a rest this time as we start to pick up our heart rate. Focus on the breath, deep in the breath. Slowly rise back to tabletop. Lift up to the fingertips, extend left leg behind you, point through the toes. Give me a crunch, knee to chest, round the spine, step the foot into lunge. Right knee lifts off the mat, look forward, and step up to half lift. Lower to fold, belly to thighs, and rise to standing one vertebrae at a time. Take a deep breath in through your nose to lift the arms overhead, last time through. Exhale out through the mouth to return to fold, belly to thighs. Inhale, half lift, flat in the back. Exhale as you step into plank and drop the knees to tabletop. Take a deep breath in here. 
Exhale to lean forward for Chaturanga. Bend the elbows, lower thigh. Inhale to lift the chest, baby cobra. And exhale to child's hips to heels. No rest this time. As soon as the hips hit the heels, rise back to tabletop position and lift up to the fingertips. Extend your left leg behind you. Ooh, excuse me, let's switch. Extend your right leg behind you, point to the toes. Give me knee to chest, around the spine, step the foot into lunge. Lift the knee, look forward. Step up to half lift, deep breath in. Exhale to forward fold, belly to thighs. Draw the inhale out as you rise to standing. And exhale at the top. Take your hands behind your back, interlace the fingers and open the chest. Remember that elbows can stay bent if you need to bring some ease to this pose. Tailbone stays long to the floor. Next, exhale to forward folds, belly to thighs, fists up to ceiling, then release the hands down towards the floor. Rise to half lift and step your right foot back into lunge. So plant your fingertips on the floor and step your right foot back, left knee over the ankle. You might need to kick that right foot back a few times to get into alignment and that's okay. We just all wanna end up in the same position. So two options here. If you wanna challenge your balance, you're gonna lift your arms straight overhead, up to ceiling. If you need some help with your balance, take your hands to your thigh first and then extend the arms overhead and we'll all lean on Johnny Asana, right heels lifted off the mat. Breathe into the chest. If you're looking to challenge your balance a little bit more, try lifting up to the tippy toes of the left foot. Knee still stacked over your ankle. Keeping the feet planted where they're at, we're gonna open our chest over to the right, lowering arms down to shoulder height. Gazing towards the back of the room. Then slowly turn back to front, arms overhead. If you're up on your tippy toes, lower the heel down to the mat. Lower your arms down by your sides and then lift them behind you, palms facing one another, opening the chest. Inhale. And then exhale, bring the arms directly in front, looking down towards the mat, extending on the back side of the shoulders. Again, we're gonna inhale, lower the arms down by our sides and lift them behind us, open the chest. Exhale, arms come in front, opening the back side of the body. One last time, deep breath in, open the chest. Exhale, arms in front. Lift the arms straight overhead and bring fingertips down to the floor. Step back into a plank position and drop the knees to tabletop. Lean forward for Chaturanga, bend the elbows, come all the way flat. Inhale as you lift the chest to baby cobra and exhale the child's hips to heels. A short rest here, bring that attention back to your breath. Slowly rise back to tabletop. Lift up to the fingertips. Extend your left leg behind you, pointing through the toes. And give me a crunch, knee to chest. Step the foot through into lunge. Step up to half lift, flat back. Lower to fold, belly to thighs. And rise to standing one vertebrae at a time. Once you're upright, take the hands behind the back, open the chest, few deep breaths. Shoulders are up behind the heart. On your next exhale, lower to forward fold, fist up to the ceiling. Then release the fingertips down towards the floor and rise to half lift. Step your left foot back into lunge, right knee right over the ankle. Lift the arms overhead, whether that's straight up or taking the hands to the thighs first. Ta'an Asana. 
If you challenge your balance on the opposite side, do the same here by lifting up to the tippy toes. Open up to the left, opening the chest, lowering arms down to shoulder height, gazing towards the back of the room, making sure you're not holding your breath. Then lifting the arms back overhead, straight up, and lowering the heel to the mat if you lift it up. Lower the hands down by your sides. Inhale as you open the chest and stretch the arms behind you. Exhale to bring the arms around front and look down towards the mat. Inhale, opening the chest. Exhale, arms in front. Last time, deep breath in, lift the chest. Exhale. Lift the arms overhead and bring fingertips to the floor. Step back to a plank position, drop knees to tabletop. Lean forward for Chaturanga, lower all the way down. Inhale to lift the chest, baby cobra. Exhale to child's hips to heels. Take your short rest here. Slowly rise to tabletop and lift up to the fingertips. Extend your right leg behind you. Give me a crunch into lunge. And step up to half lift, flattening the back. Lower to fold, belly to thigh. And we're going to take a few breaths here in this fold. A few options here, variations. You can take hands behind the back and interlace the fingers. Continue opening the chest if you like that. Second option is to take ragdoll, grabbing opposite elbows around the front, letting head hang heavy. Or maybe you just let the hands hang towards the floor. Pick a variation and take a few breaths here, keeping the hips lifting high to the ceiling. And slowly, one vertebrae at a time, we'll round our spines up to a standing position. We're going to move into some balance. So you guys looked out today. I totally forgot about down dogs, completely skipped them like I usually do in my core class. Um, so if you're not a fan of down dog, congratulations, you guys got to skip it today. So let's move into some balance work. We're gonna start with all the weight in our left foot. So lift those toes up and then lower them down to the mat, spreading them nice and wide, planting the foot firmly to the floor. We're not gonna lock out the joint of our standing legs. Instead, we're gonna put a tiny micro bend in the knee. And we're gonna turn on the thigh muscles so you should feel the muscles around the knee lift. Start with your left arm up towards the ceiling, reach through the fingertips. Bend the right knee, reaching down to grab a hold of the foot or the ankle from the outside. And once you have your grip, draw the right knee nice and close to the left. If this is a challenge for you, work here, lowering the toes to the floor and then lifting the toes to meet the hand back and forth for the entirety of the exercise. If you have hold of your foot, we're going to hold steady here. Next step, if you're holding the foot steady, is to lift the chest up towards the ceiling and gently kick into the hand so we have a nice active stretch, drawing the belly button back towards the side, kicking into the hand. If we're taking full dancer, we're going to start to fall forward. Keep kicking into the hand as you go. Keep reaching through the left fingertips. Keep that belly active. Don't hold the breath, just hold the pose. If you fell forward, slowly start to rise up. Try to maintain control and gently lower your foot and your arm down by your sides. Bend the knees, give that left leg a break. Same standing leg. We're going to draw the right knee in towards the chest, interlace the fingers and hold steady here. 
open through the chest, standing nice and tall. If this is a challenge for you, you're going to work here, lowering the toes down towards the floor and then lifting the knee up to meet the hands back and forth through the entirety of the exercise. Otherwise, you're holding nice and steady. Then let's all step our foot down to the mat and we'll switch sides. So all the weight is now in the right foot. Lift those toes up, spread them nice and wide. Tiny micro bends, turn on the thigh. We'll start with dancer. So bend the left knee, reaching down to the foot on the outside and right arm extends up to the ceiling. Start by lifting the chest and kicking into the hands. Nice active, belly back towards the spine. If you're taking it further, you're falling forward. You're still kicking into the hand. You're still reaching out through the fingertips. You're taking nice, steady breaths. If you fell forward, slowly rise up. Lower the hand and foot down by your sides. Bend the knees if that standing leg needs a break. Weight still in the right leg. We're going to bend the left knee, interlace the fingers, and take a hold, standing nice and tall. Taking some deep breaths wherever we're at. And slowly, slowly stepping the foot down to the mat. Make sure you're at the top of the mat, feet or hips width distance apart. Take a nice deep breath into the nose, lift the arms out at your sides and overhead, gaze up to the ceiling. Exhale out through your mouth, lowering the hands back down to your sides. Again, deep breath in, arms come up, nice big swoop overhead. And exhale, hands down. Last time, breath in, arms up. And exhale to forward fold, belly to thighs. Rise to half lift, flatten the back, and step back into a plank position. We're going to hold this plank here for 10 seconds. If you're tired, you can lower down now. You've only got another five, four, three, two, one. Slowly lower down to your belly, elbows close to body, and then just let your body go onto the mat. Bring your toes together, let heels fall out. Lower your arms along the sides of your body, palms face up, and turn your head to one side so you can rest on your cheek. Maybe gently close the eyes. And on your next exhale, imagine relaxing all your muscles down towards the floor. If you like to deepen the stretch for your neck, turn your head so you're resting more on your ear than you are your cheek. Wiggle those shoulders away from the ears. Slowly turn your head to the opposite side, starting on your cheek first. Then moving to the ear if you're deepening the stretch for your neck.
bring your chin to the mat and place hands beneath the shoulders so you can press yourself into a rounded child's pose. Arms along the sides of your body and forehead to the mat. Shoulders roll down towards the floor. You did a lot of chest opening, heart openers today. So rounded child's pose is a great counter stretch to all that opening on the front side of the body. Nice and slowly we'll rise up to a seated position and swing our legs down the length of the mat so that we're flat on our sits bones. Extend the arms overhead, reach to the fingertips, flex the feet, drop chin to chest, round the spine into rounded back stretch, lowering hands to the knees, pointing elbows out to the sides like elephant ears. Relax the shoulders away from the ears once again. And take some nice, deep, steady breaths. Getting a great stretch through the entire length of our spine. Starting at the top of the neck, all the way down to the tailbone. Slowly lift the spine up right into staff pose, placing hands on either sides of your hips, lengthening the spine towards the ceiling before relaxing back to neutral. Bend your right knee, placing your foot on the mat. Use your left arm to hug onto that bent knee, and we'll open a spinal twist, twisting from the belly and then the ribs, placing the fingertips directly behind you and gazing to the back of the room. Slowly unwind, returning to center, straightening the leg. Then bend left knee, placing foot on the mat. Right arm holds on this time as you open the twist, placing the fingertips behind us. Slowly unwind and return to center, straightening the leg. Make sure you're sitting in the center of your mat if you're not already there. And place your hands behind you for some support and bend both knees, planting feet to the mat. To the right, we'll slowly let the knees fall down towards the floor. Maybe they touch down towards the floor and maybe not. Just go to your limit. Then lift the knees back to center and let them fall to the opposite side, working with the hips a bit here. Draw the breath in as knees come back up to ceiling and exhale as knees fall to one side. We'll do this about two more times. Tie your breath in with the movement. Inhale to lift the knees and exhale to send them to the floor. Finish with both knees pointing up to the ceiling. Place your hands on the back of your thighs and we'll roll down until we're flat on our back. Bring the bottoms of the feet together into recline Baddha Konasana and let the knees fall out like we're opening a book. If you need some support, too much opening in the hips, you can place your hands beneath the thighs and sort of prop them up a bit. Otherwise, you can let the knees just hang on their own and then place your arms out at shoulder height.
Now draw the knees together like you're closing that book, planting your feet flat to the mat. Draw both knees in towards the chest, keeping feet side by side. You can hold on right below the knees, pulling the thighs close to the chest, or you can hold on to the back of the thighs if that's uncomfortable on your knees for any reason. We're gonna hold for about 30 seconds here. Helping to decompress the low back. Massaging our internal organs, aiding in digestion. If you're comfortable closing the eyes, I suggest you do so. And just focus on the breath. seconds or so here. Place your arms along the floor at shoulder height, palms face up. Let the knees fall to the right end to recline spinal twist. Stacking the knees and turning the head to the left. If your knees are touching and the knees are also touching the floor and you'd like to deepen the stretch, take your right hand on top of the knees. Gently press the knees closer to the floor as you drop left shoulder to the floor. And enjoy this hands-on personal assist. I suggest you only do this if the knees are touching and touching the floor because you don't want to cause any discomfort in your low back. And if the back isn't really open enough, you don't want to force things. So be careful and kind with your body. Gently draw the knees back to center, let them fall over to the left. If you took the assist on the opposite side, just give a few moments of breath without the assist before you place the hands on the knees. Draw the knees back to center and draw them in close to the body for one last time. Take a deep breath in through the nose, lift your head to meet your knees, hold for a moment here. As you exhale out through the mouth, release the legs to lay flat on the mat. Separate your legs and your arms nice and wide, palms face up, toes fall out and eyes closed. We'll settle in here for our final rest period where we find a moment of stillness for about three minutes. The aim here is to take the focus and movement off the body and turn that focus towards our minds. The easiest way to do this is to bring attention to your breath
following every rise and fall of your chest. Relaxing the brow and the muscles around the forehead and the eyes. every exhale move you deeper into relaxation. Let every exhale release stress and anxiety from your body. Let every exhale bring you peace. Again, to deepen your breath. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Welcome movement back into the body. Then gently roll over to the right side of your body, taking a moment of stillness on your side. Maybe using your hands to support your head like a pillow. Keeping your eyes closed or your gaze low to the floor, slowly press yourself up into a comfortable seated position. As always to end class, we'll take three cleansing breaths together as one, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Today we'll take a three part breath where we break the inhale into three parts, filling belly, ribs, and chest. Then breaking the exhale into three parts, releasing chest, ribs, and belly. So reverse movement. We'll start by releasing all the breath we have in the body on an exhale. Draw the breath in through your nose to fill the belly, fill the ribs, fill the chest. Exhale out the mouth, releasing chest, releasing ribs, releasing belly. Breath into belly, into ribs, into chest. Breath out of chest, out of ribs, out of belly. Last time, filling the belly up, filling up the ribs, filling up the chest, exhaling chest, ribs, and belly. Take a second to thank yourself, your mind, for your patience, your body, for this practice. And I thank you for letting me lead you on a practice today. There is a light within me that honors the light within you. 
Thanks for joining me, of course, and always, I hope you enjoy taking this class just as much as I enjoy teaching it. If you like this style, a new style or a new version of this class will be, will be excuse me, I cannot talk, will be released every Monday at 8 a.m. If you're looking for other classes of mine, you can take my core class, which is released every Wednesday at 8 a.m. And keep in mind, which you probably already know if you're watching this video, that the classes are not live, of course, and you can access them at any time that works for you. Thanks so much, and I hope to see you guys next time.